This nigga said, Mayweather movement for life. Yeah, you know I mean, to the death for life. <laughs> Man, you know how fucking ridiculous you sound, homie. You really need to pipe it down, homie. Because uh, you're looking like a fucking clown right now, man. Now, the first thing you did was you jumped out there and exposed yourself at the very beginning of your video. It didn't even take long. By saying that you're not the leader of the Mayweather movement. Yet, your goofball ass responded because you felt like it was you for whatever reason. You said that I quoted you word for word. What I was doing with that video was I was making that video to show all of y'all how y'all fucking sound with some of the shit that y'all be saying, man. You know, it was supposed to sound the way that it sounded because that's the way that you motherfuckers sound when you talk about Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? It was just a little comedy video that I put up and for some reason, you got irritated, man. And I'm going to tell you why. You know, you was talking about looking in the mirror, right? That's basically what I made you do when you listen to that video. I put a mirror up in front of you. And you got agitated with yourself and you felt like you needed to make a video to respond to outside the ropes and bump off at the motherfucking gums. Like somebody scared of your punk ass or something. You know, calling out for help and shit. It's all of us. It's not one on one. It's all of us. This is what you're dealing with, ropes. Man, knock it off, man. You're nobody, man. You cannot give me five minutes of fame. You sound ridiculous. I think that you're feeling yourself a little bit too much, BK. Because let me tell you, homie, you cannot give me one minute of fucking fame, homie. Your channel has been trash for a long time now. Okay? You never have ran shit in the boxing community, and you never fucking will, man. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what kind of shit you smoke, man, over there in Brooklyn and shit, man. You need to come down here to Cali and get some of our shit because that shit's got you talking fucking crazy, man. You don't run shit in the boxing community. You never have, and you never fucking will. Your boxing channel is nothing but a Mayweather suck fest with a few good boxing videos from time to time. Okay, so you can't talk about nobody, man. I don't know who you think you are, man, but you are nobody in the fucking boxing community. They don't nobody give a shit about your trash ass fucking channel, man. The only people that follow you are the fanboys. There's more fanboys than real boxing fans here on this fucking website on YouTube. That's why when you make your little suck-off videos for Floyd Mayweather, you get all them fucking views and shit. Now, if I cared about all that shit you're talking about, I could have done the same thing, man. I could have been a fanboy channel, and I could have had 3,000 fucking subscribers by now, man. But I've gone in on both Pacquiao and Mayweather, on where I felt both of them could have improved or where they was fucking up. I've gone in on both of them. I've never been a fanboy. So you can't talk about nobody's channel, homie. I don't know what you're thinking, man. You're talking about walking down memory lane, BK. You, of all people, do not want to walk down memory lane, man. I don't know why you wanted to do this with me, man, but let's not forget the fucking boxing bell shit with you, man. You know, I'm going to give you a pass. I'm not going to go too deep into that. I'm going to give your punk ass a pass this time. But we still do remember that boxing bell shit, man. And that's when I noticed that you was a fucking goofball motherfucker, man. That's when I first noticed that shit. Okay, you came out protecting her like she was going to give you some pussy and shit. Did you ever get it, BK? You talking about old school boxing channels? Man, any of those channels will shit on any video that you ever make or any video that any channel like yours makes. The reason why them guys left is because of whack-ass channels like yours that's popped up. With your fanboy bullshit. Okay? So you can't talk about nobody being washed up. You've been washed up, man. You came into the community. You dropped a few gems. And you've been garbage ever since. Making diss videos. Sitting down writing songs. Man, you need to stop rapping, homie. Your bars are fucking trash, homie. Do you hear me? BK, your bars are fucking garbage, man. You cannot rap. You need to get rid of that fucking DMX cannabis cookie monster fucking bullshit voice you got. Because you're not fooling anybody. You're not a tough guy. You know, I noticed you was talking slick, talking about bitch nigga and all that shit. That shit is cool, man, over the internet. It's all good over the internet, man. You can talk that shit from Brooklyn. Okay, from dusty ass Brooklyn. You can sit over there and talk that shit, man. But if you come over here with that shit, man, 
I would turn your motherfucking lips inside out. Okay, so let's just get that out the way, man. I don't know who you think I am, man. I don't know what you think you know or whatever, but you need to miss me with that shit, man, because I'll talk your ass up, man. So let's not even get into that, man. Let's just keep it about what we're talking about. You know, because I remember when I was making videos defending Floyd Mayweather, when he was going to jail and all of that shit, y'all punk motherfuckers was coming around talking about good video, ropes, thumbs up, ropes. I agree 100%, ropes. Now, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? When I make a video talking about how I feel Sugar Ray Robinson is in a lane of his own, he shouldn't really be compared to Floyd Mayweather because if it wasn't for Sugar Ray Robinson, Floyd Mayweather wouldn't exist. Then y'all want to come around calling a motherfucker a hater and Uncle Tom and all this other shit, man. Y'all are just as bad as fucking Pactards, man. Now, we already got rid of the leader of the Pactard community. You know what I'm saying? I've already took part in help destroying that motherfucker, man. Now, do you want to go on that fucking list, man? Because this is nothing right here. This, this is, I mean, I can really destroy you, BK. Because you have contradicted yourself and made yourself look like a fool so much here in the boxing community. This shit would be fucking easy work, man. You need to decide if this is what you want to do, man. Me, I could just leave it at this right here. I don't need to go on and on with this shit, man. But... Nobody's going to back down from your punk ass, man. Okay? And as far as looks is concerned, homie, let me tell you this, homie. You can't rock with me, man. You know, you're concerned with my weight and all of that shit, man. You know, I don't know what it is with you, man. I, I don't know I don't know what kind of shit you got going over there in your mind, man. Because have any of y'all ever read BK Warrior 1's comments? I mean, this guy is always talking about eat a dick, suck a cock, and all of this shit in big capital fucking letters. His whole fucking, his whole fucking comment is in caps and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's always talking about dicks and eating a dick and all of this shit, man. Nobody wants to read that fucking fag shit, man. It's always you coming with that shit, man. I, I think you're a borderline faggot, man. You know, we don't, we don't want to get into how you looked when you made that video about Floyd Mayweather, how you felt that he was the greatest of all time, and your punk ass looked like you was getting ready to cry at points in that video. Your voice was cracking. Ooh, son, when Floyd Mayweather uses that shoulder, he puts that shoulder up, and he rolls, son. Ooh, ooh. Man, you look like a fucking faggot on that fucking video, man. You need to take that shit down, man. You sound fucking ridiculous. Talking about Mayweather, you know, we gonna ride to the death. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna ride or die and all that shit, man. Floyd Mayweather gives as much shit about you as I do, man, which is none at all, man. I don't give a shit about you. Floyd Mayweather doesn't give a shit about you. Uh, if you get into a bad accident today, he's not going to pay your hospital bill. He's not going to do any of that. You're wasting your motherfucking time. You're a grown-ass man. Grown-ass fucking man sitting down writing diss videos to people because they don't want to suck Mayweather's dick like you. And this motherfucker doesn't even know you, man. You're not going to get nothing from that shit, man. The Mayweather movement is fucking trash, homie. All of y'all, man. I don't care who gets offended about it, man. I don't know half of y'all, man. I noticed you was name dropping, calling out for help and shit. I don't even know them guys you name, man. So obviously they're not important and they're not relevant. They're not being talked about. So I'm not going to even pay them no attention. They're just wasting their time trying to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? But you need to knock it off, homie. You, you can't rock with me, man. Um, don't be concerned about my weight and my looks and shit, because the first thing you need to do is decide, uh, whether you want to just go ahead and cut it off or at least LeBron James that shit and rock a headband over that Vegeta Dragon Ball hairline you got, man. Your hairline is just fucked up, man. It's all sharp in the, in the middle and shit. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to hide the fact that you're going bald and shit, man. Just go ahead and cut that shit off, man. It's all right, man. All right. So, uh, watch your motherfucking mouth with that bitch nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want to talk about uh, Mayweather, if you want to talk about uh, Sugar Ray Robinson or whatever, if you want to talk about that and keep it boxing or whatever, we can do that. You know what I'm saying? But you need to knock that tough guy shit off, man, because nobody's buying that shit, man. Nobody's buying it just because you got a little cookie monster voice and shit, man. Knock it off.